Hello children, so now it is our turn to discuss about the VT graph. In the last uh, lecture, we have discussed about the DT graph. So velocity time graph. So the things we should proceed in that same way. So slope we will determine. Slope is a that is perpendicular <coughs> component upon the base component that is vertical upon horizontal, vertical upon horizontal or we can say tan theta that is perpendicular upon base or we can say change in y component upon change in x component. So slope of the velocity time graph gives us acceleration because we are taking on the y axis we are taking velocity and on the x axis we are taking time. So change in velocity upon change in time we will take. So change in velocity upon change in time that gives the slope of this graph and that slope will give the acceleration. So slope of the velocity time graph gives us the acceleration. Okay. And the area under the velocity time graph gives us the displacement. Area under the velocity time graph gives us the displacement. So previously we have seen slope of the displacement time graph gives us velocity. Here we have seen slope of the velocity time graph gives us acceleration. And one more thing we are provided with velocity time graph. If we are able to determine the area under the velocity time graph, then we will be able to find out the displacement covered because displacement equals to velocity into time because displacement equals to velocity into time. So here in this figure, particular figure you see one rectangle is there and two triangles are there. If altogether we are able to determine the area of these three figures. So rectangle we are knowing area is length into breadth easily we can get. So that is 15 into 2. 3 to 5 it is 2. 15 into 2. Next we can determine the area of these triangles half into base into height that is half into 15 into 3. Second one is half into 15 into again 3. So we will add these areas. If we are adding these areas then it will give it gives the displacement covered it gives the displacement cover so let us read what is written in this velocity time graph line oa indicates equal increase in velocity in equal period of time or rate of change of velocity is constant that means body moves with uniform or constant acceleration and it can be obtained by finding the slope so a equals to 15 minus 0 final velocity is 15 and initial velocity was 0 so 15 minus 0 final timing is 3 and initial timing was 0 so 3 minus 0 so 15 by 3 we got that is 5 meter per second square means the body is accelerated that is positive acceleration 5 meter per second square line a b indicates velocity remains same with time that is velocity is remaining same whatever velocity is it has attained with that velocity it is moving the object that means the rate of change of velocity which is called acceleration is zero. So acceleration is zero in this case. Which case? In the part AB. Acceleration is zero in this case. There it was velocity was zero in the part AB in that previous case. Here in this case acceleration is zero. That means slope we will get zero because it is a straight line. So theta is zero degree. So tan theta that will be zero degree. Or the change in y component upon change in x component we will get 0. So that's why slope is 0 along AB. So this is also very clear. Third point line BC indicates velocity is decreasing at a uniform rate. Here you see velocity is decreasing along BC means the body is trying to come to its rest position that is at this particular point at x at 8. So when the time is 8 second then it is coming to its rest position. So line BC indicates velocity is decreasing at a uniform rate. Body is de-accelerating here or retarding. So slope will be negative. So slope equals to 0 minus 15 upon 8 minus 5. That is final minus initial. So we are getting the slope as minus 5 meter per second square. So it is negative acceleration or we can say retardation or we can say de-acceleration. So don't uh, confuse with these words. These are same only. Now if the rate of change of velocity is non-uniform then acceleration is also non-uniform and it happens when graph of velocity time is curved like as it is shown here. Then we will not get a graph of a particular shape it will be a curve. 
rate of gain of velocity with time increases therefore acceleration is in ascending order in the first case in the second case it is decreasing so the acceleration is in the de uh, decrease descending order things which can be determined the, with the vt graph are velocity at any instant velocity at any instant also we can get and the major things that we are going to get major things that we are going to get is acceleration that we are getting by slope and distance covered that we are getting by determining the area okay some examples of vt graph line ab represents the velocity graph for a body moving with velocity 40 when comes to rest in 8 seconds so you see distance travel area of this triangle so we have determined it is 160 meter slope we are determining then we are getting the retardation or negative acceleration that is minus 5 so it is very simple graph for a moving body with the velocity time is shown in the following figure here in this one you see in the second example if we will take the area here then we will get the total distance covered if we are not concerned about the sign without assuming the sign if we are determining total area then we will get the distance if we are concerned with the sign if we are concerned with the sign then the below side below side of this uh, time axis we will take all the things negative and upper side it is positive okay so positive and negative so it will be subtracted that's why it is given 20 minus 35 that is 20 minus 35 we got minus 15 meters so negative signs so opposite to the initial direction of journey so distance covered we will get when we are not concerned about the sign if we are concerned about the sign then we will get the displacement then we will get the total displacement so this velocity time graph is also clear now we will move towards the at graph at graph that is acceleration time graph at graph means acceleration is plotted on the y axis and time is plotted on the x axis acceleration is plotted on the y axis and time is plotted on the x axis so what does it give the acceleration time graph so acceleration time graph we have just seen that acceleration equals to change in velocity upon time so change in velocity equals to acceleration into time so acceleration time graph gives the change in velocity we can say acceleration time graph gives us the change in velocity now let us see if a graph is plotted between acceleration and time then the following things can be determined instantaneous acceleration that we can know instantaneous acceleration change in velocity for a period of time we can determine change in velocity for a period of time some of the possible graphs for acceleration versus time are shown here below a straight line oa here you see in the first graph this oa is not a single line one more line is overlapping on that line one more line is overlapping on that line that's why it is made that's why it is made dark first one instantaneous acceleration second one change in velocity for a period of time change in velocity for a period of time some of the possible graphs for acceleration versus time are shown below in the figure one you see just a straight line oa a straight line oa coincides with the time axis coincides with the time axis therefore acceleration is zero acceleration is zero or body is in the state of rest or moving with uniform velocity similarly in the second one you see straight line ab is parallel to the time axis here the mean acceleration is this mean that the acceleration is constant acceleration is not changing whatever acceleration is there that is remaining so that means a straight line parallel to the time axis it is remaining same everywhere time is moving from 0 to 1 to 2 to 2 to 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 but acceleration is remaining same acceleration is remaining constant or same or uniform or increases in or we can say increase in velocity is equal in equal intervals of time increase in velocity is equal in equal intervals of time increase in velocity is equal in equal intervals of time that's why the acceleration is same acceleration will be same when when increase in velocity is equal in equal intervals of time so this is all about the second diagram third diagram just you see the velocity of a moving moving body decreases at a constant rate velocity of a moving body decreases at a constant rate means retardation that is deacceleration and it is constant constantly it is retarding so that's why this red line we have got it 
below the reference line that is below the x line so negative acceleration or retardation we call it in the figure 4 you see as the time increases acceleration varies as the time increases acceleration varies an obtained graph for a moving body is curved graph oa okay and from ab again variable retardation due to curved shape of the graph and the curve oab curve oa b indicates conversion of acceleration to deceleration initially it was accelerating now it is deceleration so in any case we can find out any case we can find out now free fall motion free fall motion so this free fall motion we will discuss in the next class so thank you children now we are stopping